I'm delighted to be able to announce that King's Tainton Chapel will be opening once again for private prayer, not for ordinary services, but for private prayer on Mondays from 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. And this is a little video to show you what you might expect if you come to pray on a Monday morning. Okay, so you will arrive at the chapel and find the doors open and you'll find the social distancing tape uh, to keep people two metres apart. I'm not expecting a giant queue at the door. Um, the uh, sign will say we're open when we're open. If that says we're closed, then, well, we're closed. On entering the chapel, there is a one-way system. As you can see, with the arrows pointing to the right, there will be a warden, that'll be me, behind this desk, who will spray some hand sanitizer on your hand as you come in and advise you to follow the one-way system and keep out of the hatched areas. I will also be asking you if you have any symptoms of COVID in the last uh, few days. And if so, I will find a way of politely asking you not to come into the building. Um, you'll proceed over here. It is the law um, that uh, we have to take contact details for you because of the government's track and trace system. So as you come in on this bench, there will be a form where you will need to uh, write your name, a contact number, and the time you were in and the time that you left. This is so that the government, um, the contact, the track and trace system um, can be most effective should there be an outbreak um, that's linked to this building. Um, so that is compulsory. People not filling that in, again, will not be allowed to go beyond this door. We will only keep that um, for the time that the government recommends that it needs to be kept. Uh, you proceed into the chapel. Hopefully then things start to get more relaxed. Um, There's a very confusing system of um, airport runway arrows um, just to make sure that everybody keeps two metres apart. Um, and you can see there are arrows to seven different chairs, each of which can be used um, for personal prayer. Hopefully that's fairly straightforward. You follow the arrows in a one-way system. Um, we've also got um, the artwork from our lockdown flower festival um, strung up around the building. Uh, you can follow through here the one-way system. So you come in through one door and you exit through the other door. That's fairly straightforward, I hope. And the arrows point you in all the right directions. You could use that chair or you could... Um, you get to the end here. There's also an option here in the corner. This will be better laid out um, where we will have a, a table uh, where we have candles and you can light a candle in prayer. Then as you leave, you will be asked to um, put the leaving time uh, when you left the building in our uh, track and trace system. Um, to start with, I'm afraid the toilets will be locked off um, until we've worked out how best to manage that. Um, if you're really, 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 really desperate, then the warden will let you use the toilet. But please uh, bear that in mind. The toilets will ordinarily be locked off. Uh, when you leave, the warden will also uh, spray some more hand sanitizer onto your hand. Or when we've got the refills, uh, there is one on the wall that you can use for yourself and the... Uh, Covid warden uh, will remind you to sanitise your hands as you leave and then uh, you may leave out into Kingstainton. So I hope that's not too scary and maybe if you have been used to praying and being in our building this will be uh, a welcome uh, news to you. If it's something you've never done well then why not come and give it a go. On each chair there will be some uh, prayer guidance um, and there will be a book um, about prayer and how to pray and how to make that a part of your life um, and take the book away with you because we can't have more than one person touching it. Um, you can look at some of the art from our uh, lockdown um, flower festival, that mostly children but some adults uh, did do some work for that and I hope that you will find the chapel to be a welcoming place where you can come and find some relief and some peace 
and some comfort and some hope through these COVID times.